Hey guys, happy Thursday night. What's going on? Hey, Miss HLS. Hi, Gwen. Hi, Lily. How are you? What's going on? How's everybody doing? Let's see. Let me just in case we decide to just in case something gets shown. <laughs> Hi, guys. <laughs> What's going on? Guys, I I did two lives already today. So let me drop the call in because we're gonna we're gonna be about that business and uh because you know it's Thursday, it's call in. Uh and we're going to I'd love to hear from you guys if anyone has anything to say. If not, you know I can I can definitely talk for another cool hour, but um we gonna we're gonna we're gonna try to keep it right there. Um so let me drop this. I'm going to pin it. That way we don't have to do it again. Um, so I went, I think I went live yesterday, right? Um, I was live earlier today. We went over that hearing, um, and we can talk about it some more. It was like the arrested 19 times for me. It was the, was it six social security numbers and five birthdays? It was the array of aliases. It was so much. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Um, <laughs> Did I just say hi to the gang stars? One, two, three. I guess I did. Let me stop. Hi, Tall Diva. Hi, Monica. Blessed. What's going on? KK, Devin, Monique, Rhonda, AK, Michael. What's going on? Lily for the two times. Fit Nana. What's going on, sis? Um, I'm going to assume that's a sis because that would be a girl named Fit Nana. Okay. <laughs> I said what I said and Brenda. Okay. Um, and then to the bushes. Hello. Hi, Shay and black hourglass. What's going on everyone. Okay. Okay. So few housekeeping items. Number one, welcome everyone. Number two. Hi. Hi DDS mom. How are you? Or DD's mom. Excuse me. I'm like DDS. Okay. Um, couple things. Number one, welcome. Number two, hello everyone. Um, it's Friday Eve. Okay. Um, number that was, that was number three, number four, the, the, um, if you'd like to drop a comment, it's pinned above. Okay. Um, I want anyone who this might apply to, if you've sent me an email and I haven't gotten back to you yet, just give me a minute. I'm working through emails and Instagram. Um, so I think I've, I might have gotten back to anyone and everyone, but if you sent me something and I've commented on it, I used it, any of those things, you know, I got you. Um, I just haven't responded yet to thank you or whatever, but typically I try to give some sort of a response right away. So, um, my bad, but I'll, you know, I'll respond. Um, usually I try to make sure that I've responded to everything. Um, I sent you an IG message today. I'll let you know that Ernesto said from October 31st video, you mentioned that you didn't understand what he was saying when he said, well, he was locked up. Hold on a second. Let me see. Did you send that um, to, okay. Let me see. So Instagram Maybe it was Love Lies and Lace Fronts because I I just checked. Um, uh, let me see. Okay, you sent me an IG message. Did you just send it? Let me see. Uh. You were trying to tell me what he said. I was like, what did he say? I, I couldn't get it. Um, hi, 50 Creole, 50 Californian. How, how are you? 50 Creole, 50 um, California. What's going on? Miss D Atkinson or Atkinson. Let's see. Um, I was just letting you know. Um, I just, I don't see it in my Instagram. I'm just trying to figure out which one because I have one for each of my channels. Um, you mentioned, hi, okay, I sent you an IG message today to let you know what Ernesto said 
on October 31st video. Okay. Um, did I respond? Maybe I didn't get it. Like maybe I didn't understand or something. Let me see. So I'm in Real Talk Bougie and I don't see any pen. Oh, you know what? I've got three requests. Hold on. That would explain it. Okay. Here we go. Maybe this is it. I'm so alive today. You talked about the statement that Sonia made about something happening on April 22nd. I ran across an article on July 23rd that I was wondering if this is the live, the same live that you mentioned Shirley did. Oh, okay. Hold on a second. Hold, hold the phone. Oh, you guys. Let me see. Hold up. Mm. No, this is not the video. Uh -oh. That's not, I've seen that video. Okay. I thought we had something. Okay. Um, I'll get back to you in just a second. Let's see. Um, did you? I'm not sure of that. Let's see. Um, you know, how sometimes your Instagram goes into a request mode. Okay. I'm watching today's live and I went to Nesto's YouTube, which he referenced in a conversation with Sonia and you should do a live slash watch recap. Lots of info in the pic of Carol pops up towards the end. Let's see. I don't have a video telling me oh this 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 video I don't know why it turns me off so much maybe it's because of the sound is awful so Carol pops up towards the end um I'm gonna have to look people keep referring me to this video the only reason why I have not done a reaction it's got a lot of music in it and I can't it's going to flag, it's going to have like a million flags on my account. And it just, it's a problem, especially on this channel. I can't, I can't, I can't. Um, but I will watch it. I definitely will watch it. I haven't watched it yet. Every time I go to watch it, it's like the sound bothers my ears. Um, all of that, that the razors or something. What do they call that? Clippers? The clippers aggravate me. Um, okay. So I just went through a couple of comments, but I don't see. Okay. So if you could put it in the chat, that'd be great. Okay. I don't want to, um, let me see. Did anyone, did everyone hear the call from prison from, from this year? There have been other calls from 2023 posted. Um, but I did watch those calls, but I'm, I don't want to talk about those tonight because that's just way too much. Um, I still kind of have to process what was talked about in those calls. Um, let's talk about it in the morning because there's so much to talk about. Um, okay, so someone put in my comments about, and the, the call in, if someone wants to call and give a comment, you're more than welcome to. Um, we're going to try to keep this at an hour tonight. So um, someone put in my comments regarding the Fulton County thing. I, I don't want to get stuck in the weeds on things. Like if you guys notice, sometimes people are like, Shirley was, Shirley had a baby with so-and-so. I don't care who Sheridan, I'm going to be honest. I don't care who Sheridan's father is. And I'm going to tell you why it's not relevant to the story. You know what I mean? Like, this is about Ernesto and Shirley. It has a little bit to do with Sheridan because Sheridan's name was used. But as far as who Sheridan's father is, it did come up when Sheridan's father, quote unquote, was in town, that whole thing. But as far as, like, who... We barely can figure out if Shirley was even married to Ernesto. I, If it didn't happen in the last, like, let's say, decade... I'm not focusing on that. There's so much outside information going on. It's, and I'm saying as it relates to Shirley and her relationships and stuff, 
Um, me personally, I'm not saying don't drop your comments, but what I'm saying is I'm not going to get into that. Like who, who Sheridan's father is because it's not relevant to the story at this time. If it becomes relevant, then we'll talk about it. Um, you guys can talk about it down in the comments. You know what I mean? I'm not going to tell you guys what to comment. I just don't have an answer for it because I'm not vested in finding out. You know what I mean? It's, there's so many other things to uncover. Um, that's why I don't answer that. Now, regarding staying in Fulton County and not staying in Fulton County, at one time, Judge Manning told him to stay out of Fulton County as illustrated today in that video. And at another time, she told him to, if if he were to be released, you can't leave Fulton County. So we've heard both. Um, I don't know why one was said over the other. Um, that would be like a Judge Manning question if we ever got a chance to talk to the judge. But at the end of the day, at this point, the most recent order from Judge Manning is that he, if he came to, if he were to get out, he would have to stay in Fulton County, be on a leg monitor and not leave and not leave the state of Georgia. So I think, I think it's pretty, um, you know, I don't know that there's anything else to really you know, like debate over that because I think, I don't know if she made a mistake initially or it was an oversight because he was sitting over there in Cobb County and maybe sometimes people are facing something and, you know, I don't know what the generalities are as to why she would make that type of judgment because people have asked and I don't know, you know what I mean? If I had access to the courthouse, so maybe that's something to throw to Sylvia. Sylvia's at that court house every day and she might know when someone is housed in Cobb for whatever reason. That's another question that comes up a lot. Why is he in Cobb? I, I don't know. I'm, I'm thinking it was because of his, not just because of his age, but they did put him in the senior honor dorm and maybe that dorm was full in Fulton and maybe due to his crimes, maybe due to certain activity. Maybe there were people in the jail that they didn't want him around. I, you know, they have their reasons, right? Um, or if someone is high risk, maybe they don't want you around other people. So I'm not sure. Um, yes, that was me. No, that's not me. Um, that's what I'm saying. But look under Tanya's name and you will see the message of what I said. It's, I'm going to find it for you. Okay. Did you send me a message or did you comment under somebody's profile? You responded to me at 802 on Instagram. Okay, let me see. Uh, was it under, I'm assuming it was under Love, Lies, and Lace Runs. 802, so that was what, oh, okay. Okay, I do. Okay. Oh, I missed the top part. I missed the top part of your message. Okay. Um, because you got anyone who messages me, if you'll get an auto reply from me immediately. I didn't scroll back up. So my bad. Um, when he got locked up, this is what he said. When I got locked up, the folks took his phone and everything and that was the only thing left in his wallet. I hope, oh, I did get that part, but he said something out. Like there was one part that either the phone cut out or something, but I did get the gist of that part. But yes, thank you for, for sending that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Um, so let's see. You respond. Okay. Ernesto's on her dorm, and I'm glad Ernesto has moved to Cobb. He, had he stayed in Fulton County, he would have never heard. Okay, Fitnana, period, okay? Cash, I heard that. Um, I was cooking and uh, listening to Sylvia last night um, when she dropped the tea, Um you know how they say, you know, like uh, conversations in the hallway or wherever. Um, at the end of the day, yeah. Okay. 
Um, it didn't surprise me though. You guys know. I mean, Shirley just is that she's that lady. And, you know, remember that interview that she did? Um, we talked about it about a week or two with with Jeannie Sparrow with Jean Sparrow. And um she, you know, she has to remind herself sometimes, like, where is your faith? And um, I don't know. I think she's she's sticking by that guy. She's in there. She's in there like swimwear, like they say. Shirley is supporting. Um, mm -hmm. Let her. You know what I mean? Everyone's got their walk in life. It, she has to want to save herself. You know what I mean? If she's she's down for the program and she loves that dude, it that's her business. You know what I mean? Unless that's your own personal friend. And I think even right now, her own personal friends, nobody can tell her anything. If anyone tells her anything contrary to what she is currently doing or how to manage her relationship, she's probably cutting them off so quick that their heads would spin. So that's it, you know? Um, it's not surprising at all. Yeah. Uh, he left. He said he left the girl at the truck. So he said he left the girl at the truck stop and she worked on a food truck. No, at a, he left the girl at the truck stop, but didn't he say she worked at the, at the truck stop serving food? And the manager said, why don't you give her a job? I don't know who that person was. Okay. So the hearing today, I'm, I'm assuming that may have answered some questions. I don't know. Maybe it left more questions. I'm not sure. But um, I felt like it answered more questions for me. Um, someone mentioned something about the video tonight. We'll talk about it more in depth tomorrow. But I think the call tonight, the main interesting thing to me is that at one point, you could tell that there was obviously a point where Nesto is speaking in code to Sonia and he's telling her as she came to Atlanta or she was out of town somewhere and she and he told her that the great news, I don't know who she, if she was talking about if he was talking about BC, I don't know, but he said, tell, if that person tells you the news, call whomever and make sure that they tell, they repeat that in front of you to them. And it was like, what is he talking about? I don't know. And she goes, oh, you want me to tell them to discuss the case? And he said, well, they've been talking to him anyway. Who else would he be? Who who would be talking Ernesto's case but BC? So I was thinking, well, maybe that was BC. I don't know. Um, maybe she's supposed... You know, I could only imagine why BC turned down um, him as a client. Maybe it's because it was just so messy. I don't know. Um, I don't know what all that was about. And then he talks to her later and asks her, did she ever... Did she have that meeting and then she's like oh no and i'm not feeling well and da, 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 da. i mean it's girl it's it's like um a puzzle with these people i have no idea what they're talking about um had a ton of it had a ton of information do you guys want to talk about it again we talked about it some earlier um you know i kind of gave my commentary i didn't have the call in line open but um I'm trying to see. I'm going to... Let me see. Just a second. I'm not going to show it because it's already over there, but I can play it and we can listen to it real quick. Um, maybe that if anyone has any questions other than that. Um, let me see. Is it on here? Oh, it's on my watch later. I could have sworn I just saved it. Okay, maybe I didn't.
just one second. I thought I just saved it in my watch later, but maybe I did not. Hmm. All right, just let me switch. Okay. We're going to stop. So if you want to watch this in its entirety, I will, I will, um, drop you guys the link and you can listen to it. Otherwise, um, we're just going to listen to it. Is that, is that what we're doing? Yes, yes, uh, yes. Okay. So it's on my other channel and we, we definitely got, I felt like we kind of got in depth on it, but if you guys want to do another go round, we can. Okay. Let me share my screen. Um, I don't want to share the video on this channel. Like there's a very specific reason. Um, so it's on my other channel. If you want to like take a look at the the boxes <laughs> and all of that, but you know what the setup looks like. Uh, let me see. Okay. You guys know what this looks like. You've seen this before. Okay. And if you want to listen to it uninterrupted, this isn't going to probably be the place for you to do that. So if it's going to bother you because I'm talking or we stop and I answer questions or comments, this is your warning. Um, other than that, you can go to my video posted earlier today and I've got the link in there for you to go and check it out. Um, but, you know, um, OK, let's listen to it and we'll stop periodically to to talk about what's going on here. OK. Um, let's see. Let me see if I can do it like this. Maybe, maybe this will be okay. Ernest Williams, there you go, got you. All right. Judge B.C. Chopra for Ernest Williams. Good afternoon. All right, got it. Position 10, free trial 22, CP211078. There's two cases. Ernest Williams, 117 days without a bond. Cons so anyone who's confused, don't be confused. Number one. Don't be confused. This is October. You can see, um, well, maybe you can't. Hold on, let me show you. The 221031, that's um, October 31st, 2022, just for record purposes and to keep, you know, keep this, you know, obvious of what we're looking at at this moment. This is October. 31st, 2022. We talked about this earlier today, but we're going to just run through this one time. Conspiracy to commit a felony times three. And then position 11, 22 CP 210500. Ernest Lavret Williams Jr., theft by deception. Uh, no bond as of July the 8th. Wow. So you heard her say 115 days, no indictment. So keep in mind, as of today, he's over 400 days, no indictment, right? So this was over a year ago. I just want to be super duper obvious and specific because somebody will comment um, or ask, and we're a year ago in time, right? Judge, in regards to Mr. Ernest Williams, a multi-state offender, mm -hmm. One arrest in Georgia, 19, no, one arrest in Kentucky, 19 in Georgia. Um, open case 22 CP 212559, conspiracy to commit a felony, five counts, 22 SC 184402, theft of services, deposit account fraud, 22 SC 184403, theft by taking and theft by deception. He has five felony convictions in Georgia and one in Kentucky for bank fraud. Nothing further. All right, go ahead, Mr. Chopra. 
<clears throat> I got to tell you, Judge, I've been trying for 90 days to even get on a calendar. Can I just ask a question? Bamal Chopra, you've been trying for 90 days to get on the calendar. He's got a court date. What made you think that that was the smartest thing to say at that moment? Like, Judge, we were anxious to get an opportunity to sit and talk to you about these charges and what's going on and getting my client out of jail. Da, 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 da. You going to sit there and open up with, <clears throat> I've been trying to get on your calendar. It's like, sir, do you know what to say? Um, frankly, we're just asking for the court to set a, a reasonable bond that can be made by surety, whatever other considerations the court may want. Fortunately, and I do mean fortunately, these are relative white collar offenses. The allegations are conspiracy to commit and theft by deception. Um, there should not be any fear that he's going to physically harm anyone. Um, I, I do realize that there's a number of allegations, however, all by themselves, they are still just that, a number of allegations. All right. Uh, what says the state? Yes, Judge Jonathan Salmon for the state. Um, the defendant, I mean, I first think he threw his cases, then his history, and then as part of my argument, as far as the cases he's here on, 22 CP 210500. It's a theft by deception where he um, ended up telling basically this the fraud is nonstop with the defendant. In this case, he so Ms. Allman, you're either I'm free, but you're free. Can you hear me now? Is, is it me that's freezing or is it him that's freezing? It might be me. Can you hear me now? I can. Madam Court Reporter, is it cutting out for you? He sounded okay, but it did start cutting out just a little bit at the end there. Okay, go ahead. Sorry, go ahead, counsel. Yes, Judge, and let me know. My connection is off, but um, on the 22 CP 210500, um, it's a theft by deception. The defendant um, was going to sell, basically promised to sell this woman's car. Um, I want to just point out in the record, we have um, the victim, obviously, in that case, because he didn't, he just took the car. The, it's not a harmless crime, one to her, but then the person he sold it to was arrested in a different county for the stolen car that our victim reported as stolen. Um, so someone was arrested because of his fraud. Um, in the 22 CP 211078, um, the conspiracy, um, that happened as a dispossessory hearing in Fulton County Magistrate Court where the defendant, um, you may have heard facts about this last week, I'm involving a co-defendant, Erica Hughley, Erica King, multiple false names, but where they were defrauding the court, impersonating a, a lawyer, April Holloway. Um, as part of that fraud, there was false statements, identity fraud, impersonating a lawyer in court. Um, there's a second case um, also in Bolton County Magistrate Court, that's 22 CP 212559, where it was a warrant application hearing where, again, they were um, he was uh, conspiring to defraud the court, identity fraud, filing false documents, false statements, impersonating an attorney in court. Um, he has two indicted cases, 22 SC 184402. Um, it's a theft of services case, um, ended up uh, getting work done on a Dodge Charger and not paying for it. And a 22 SC 184403, a theft by taking case, he promised a um, individual to help him purchase a house and get him an 800 credit score and, and just went off with his money. Both those cases, those, defend, those victims were veterans, and one of the cases was a disabled veteran. As far as his criminal history, um, 19 cycles, as pretrial said, um, just going back all the way to 1988 with a felony theft. These are only convictions that I'm listing. Um, 1988, a felony theft by receiving. 1991, a theft by taking felony and a theft by receiving felony. Also in 1989, a theft by taking felony. In 1990, an armed robbery, a theft by taking, a theft by receiving, and firearm by convicted felon, felon conviction. 1991, a theft by taking and theft by receiving conviction. False name in 92, abandonment of minor child in 92, an armed robbery conviction in 1992, um, and a false statements conviction in 2006, um, along with uh, felony bank fraud 
um, out of the feds in 2005. He's also had two FDAs and a probation violation. Um, along with the current open cases in Fulton County, there's warrants out of California um, for the defendant. They also involve stolen cars that he brought, um, the reports mentioned bringing into the state of Georgia. Um, he also has a, um, um, a warrant out of McDonough um, as well, um, Henry County for theft involving a car. Um, he uses many al aliases, has six socials used by him, at least five different date of births. Your Honor, going through um, the factors, I mean, in the fraud in the court, there's more. They, the police ended up raiding his home and they found fraudulent notary seals, superior court stamps, law firm documents. And this investigation has been growing and it's ultimately going to looking like it's going to be a racketeering indictment by our office, which is the reason we have been unable to indict it as of yet, because we keep on finding more fraud that the defendants committed. You know, the state police, given his history, um, he's not, he's won a likelihood to reoffend, commit new felonies in danger persons and property in the community. Um, he's between the FDAs and some of his jail calls where he's mentioned wanting to leave the state, um, the state believes he's a high likelihood to fail to reappear. Um, influencing witnesses as far as that factor, um, as far as when the state's been interviewing his victims, many of them have expressed great fear of him. Uh, you know, in short, the state believes he's a significant danger to reoffend. Um, and significant risk um, of failing to appear. Um, therefore, the states, um, as far as what the state believes a reasonable bond should be, um, thirty thousand dollars cash only for each charge, um, um, as part of bond conditions that he's not to leave the state of Georgia, that he's to surrender his passport within twenty four hours of release, um, that he have an ankle monitor and be on home house arrest, that he's have no contact with Melody Scretchen, his co. And then Erica Hughley um, or Erica King is co-defendant and along with Sheridan Shrubbery and that he's not to associate or reside with any known felons. Um, um, Your Honor, I do believe just uh, it's not on the calendar, but the 22 CP 212559, I had it as also scheduled for today. So I, I thought there was going to be a total of eight warrants um, and I was going to ask for a $30,000 cash only on each. Um, however, we need to have a separate bond hearing for that. Yeah, that one's got a $20,000 split bond. There's a no bond on three. I mean, he just, he went for six minutes. He literally talked for six minutes and nonstop had like just, and, and it's dumbfounding, right? And then I think they still added more after that because this was still, this was a year ago. So there was still more there was still more coming that didn't even include the child pornography because keep in mind, this was October 31st. So they took the, um, so they'd already taken his F three fifty, right? So when they got the F three fifty, they got his computer, they got his black bag, they got all that stuff, but they're going, they're going through that stuff. Right. I guess at this moment, um, then they get Shirley's car. Right. Um, the next day, November 1st. Okay. So this was like, and, and it was funny. I need to find, I want to find the call where he's telling like, he's all happy because he felt like everything went really well. And he said that, um, his lawyer, he was impressed with his lawyer and his lawyer showed his ass. Three counts and 10 a piece on another one. For some reason it wasn't on this one. Um, uh, Mr. Chopra, is he going to be, where is he going to be living? Your Honor, wherever you tell him to live. Not to mention, isn't this also the hearing when he got on the phone with Shirley and he said he saw all that evidence. They talked about Sheridan. And when she says Sheridan Sharon Strawberry, remember that in some of those documents, they were saying that or if you recall, rather, um, the documents had Sheridan's name incorrect. Um, it was said that Sheridan's name on the lease was Sheridan Sharon Strawberry, 
and her na- her middle name is not Sharon, and they had Shirley as some other middle name too, and it was it was just wrong, right? Um, I don't know when. I think Ernesto was pissed because they what what probably would have made him mad after he came from this hearing was the fact that they this guy read a, the laundry list of charges the absolute laundry list and but as far as being impressed with BC and what he did I'm I'm trying to make sure that this is the actual hearing because I'm not seeing anything BC did at all if you all right, just to, but not in Fulton County right understood and the, all right, all right. We understand the monitor too. I will ask though, I, I respect. Why didn't he say yes, Fulton County? His wife lives in Fulton County, and if he's released, he wants to reside with his wife. The Bamal seems like he's like, okay, judge, whatever you say, judge. Like that doesn't even make any sense. State is saying, but to a limited extent, they're offering evidence in this matter that I don't have access to. His last conviction is 2006. We have all of these allegations about a stolen car and notary seals, but I believe that's the conspiracy issue. Judge cash bond would serve as no bond for a person in this position. We would let we would ask that we give the extra layer. Using a surety usually gives the court a lot more assurance that a person will show up. Those bounty hunters have a lot more authority than anyone else I've run across. All right. All right. Uh, no further contact with Shirley or Sharon. Strawberry uh, or Erica Hughley, H G H L E Y, uh, surrender your passport immediately to uh, Mr. Chopra, to your lawyer. Can have it. He, Mr. Chopra didn't even interject and say, Judge Shirley is his wife and she is still in contact with him and remains. Um, they can't stop him from talking to his wife, but the fact that, um, and I think it was fixed because it didn't show up on the paperwork, Shirley's name. Um, so that was an oversight, but Bamal never even bothered to call that out. An ankle monitor paid for by the county. You could leave for court and to see your lawyer. Uh, no drugs unless prescribed, no alcohol, no weapons. Stay out of Fulton County unless you're here for court or see your lawyer. You cannot leave the state of Georgia, but you can't come to Fulton County unless you're here for court and see your lawyer. On the uh, position 10, I'll make it uh, 25 on each count. Uh, on position 11, I'll make that 15,000. No drugs unless prescribed, no alcohol, no weapons, no further contact with Mel- uh, Melody. I believe is the teacher. Melody, S C R E T C H E N. Uh, stay away from 7100 Suttles Drive. Stay out of Fulton County unless you're here for court or to see your lawyer. Can't leave the state of Georgia. So you can find somewhere else to live. You have to supply your address to the jail when you bond out. That's part of the condition of your bond. To the prosecutor's office, you can do that through your lawyer and you have to give it to the ankle monitoring company. Uh, 24 hour curfew, except for court or see your lawyer. And the only reason you come to Fulton County is court or to see your lawyer. And you, like I said, surrender your passport to your attorney. Best of luck to you, sir. You can lay the boots. No okay. practice in law. Thank you, Judge. Can you clarify if it was a cash only or a surety bond? Just No, that'd be a surety bond. He, says he has no bond on the other cases. Uh, he has no bond status still on uh, 22CP21559. There's bond set on two, and then there's no bond on the other one. So, sir, no matter what, you're not getting out. And by the way, uh, Ms. Rowe, if you put that on there, that he has a, if there's a hold that picks you up, you got 48 hours to have that ankle monitor placed back on your ankle upon being released. Best of luck to you, sir. You can lay the boost. I got okay. it, Judge. Thank All you. right. Thank you. Uh, Maurice Sr. Maurice Senior. Oh, thank you, sir. All right, position 21. I think this might be conflict. What says Matthew? Okay, so I'm walk out. I know he was pissed after that. I know I would have been. No bond. And I mean, it didn't matter if he was getting it anyway, because he still had stuff, so much stuff pending. He wasn't getting out anyway. I mean, she just she said it like it, you know, she kind of said it in a very matter-of-fact way, but it's a matter-of-fact issue, right? Um, yeah, it's, it's overwhelming listening to that and then listening to him on the phone with people telling people, yeah, it's coming. It's coming just a couple more weeks, a couple more months. I think I'm a, I think February is going to look real good for me. 
Amen. I mean, even with the bond, it doesn't matter. I mean, at this point, right? Um, I wonder if he thought... So, one thing I was thinking, listening to that call today, was that maybe he was talking, when he was talking to Sonia about call our friend, I don't know if he was talking about Dre, because Dre said that, um, I guess that Dre at one point said he would put his house up and tell him the good news and see if he says, like, I don't even know. I need to listen to it one more time. I only listened to it one time and I was cooking and I need to listen to it again. And then I can probably get my head wrapped around what was actually said and see if I can make heads or tails of it because it's like a freaking puzzle. Every This, this guy doesn't even talk. He He talks in circles. So... Anyway, guys, it doesn't seem like you guys have much to talk about tonight. And I feel like we went through this already. And I don't want to go through the call yet that they put up today. I thought it was very interesting. And I thought that there was a lot going on. Um, but I, you know, I don't even know. Like that, this hearing is just, it's its like kind of overwhelming thinking about all of this. Um, let me see. I mean, so... So this week, what we um, we talked about a couple of things. We went and looked at the Bent Creek property. Um, there have been, what else has happened this week? We know that there is a new hearing on the 13th of November. So is it really relevant? Like, is he going to be out on the streets? It It's still not likely anytime soon. But as long as he keeps getting bonds, eventually he'll have enough bond stack that maybe he can get out. But at the end of the day, even if they decide to drop certain things or they're moving cases over to the white collar division, um, I don't think this is the end that we'll see Nesto. Nesto, I think very much is um, as illustrated by the attorneys and they've mapped it out. He's a convicted felon with a proven track record um, I think Nesto is going to be Nesto. And I don't think Shirley has little, she has little to no control over her husband as far as what he's going to do, what he's not going to do. I think that he would, if he were on the streets tomorrow, or let's say in the next six months, he'll go to Shirley's house. Um, and if he's no longer on ankle monitor anymore and he's a free man, he's going to do what Nesto does. And he's going to start to get into things again and it's just going to be a matter of time and this time they have so much evidence and uh discovery that it's quite possible that the next mistake will be the mistake that really gets them so you know i don't think anybody needs to worry i mean it's unfortunate for the victims if he finally on a technicality can get out because of the fulton county backlog and the fact that he's been sitting there for a year. And, you know, it's not fair that he should have to sit there and hasn't gotten his day in court yet, and that it's moving very, very slow. But, the, you know, this is a system that's run by humans, thank goodness, and there's, on, there's only but so much personnel, and they can't, you know, and the, the courts are overloaded. Um, he would sell... Girl... He has. He's used her name. Um, it's a lot. It's a lot. You don't think he's going back? You, I think Nesto is not going back to Shirley. Where else is he going to go? He can't. I mean, unless Sonia's gotten herself an apartment, where is he going to go? Maybe he can go to his son's house. I don't know. One of his sons, Dion. Him and Dion can move in with each other. Uh, maybe Lamont. Dre, as long as they're in Atlanta, then he'd be okay. But if they're outside of Atlanta, well, if he's a free man, I guess he can go where he wants. Um, but they, I'm sure they will be keeping tabs on him because it's just a matter of him, you know, messing up. But he, even if he gets out of Fulton County, they're going to run him right down there to Henry County. Don't forget and we don't know what's going on in Henry County. He seems to think he it's just a check-in. It's just a drive-by over there. 
But according to Majeski, we played that yesterday, I think over here, um, there's something to do with some sort of financial situation or maybe stolen vehicles. I'm not 100% sure. You'd have to go back to the video yesterday. We played it and it's escaping me the detail right now. But there was something about that as well. Um, I wonder who else will be brought up on Rico charges. Um, I would think it would be safe to say Erica King. Um, and then whoever else is involved in this, in this, you know, whoever else was making things happen. I hope Shirley doesn't have a life insurance policy. Um, he, look, he would have to be a fool. Okay. Um, to do anything because, um, it's, this is, it's too much right now. He would have to be a fool. If he tried to do like a Tim Norman, he would be sitting there with nothing. He's better off playing the um, contrite husband and want to do better and chauffeur than to do something silly like that. He'd do better. Um, I don't even want to say. Um, my 82 year old mother. What? <laughs> She's basically given up her, I mean, she, she, I wouldn't say he give, she's given up her relationship with Sheridan, but basically, um, but I think she banked on riding out this thing with him. I think she banked on them doing, doing this thing until it was over, you know, not the, you know, whatever the scams are. But, and maybe that, I don't know. I don't know what that woman's involved in. All I know is that she's on Steve Harvey every day doing the strawberry letter. But what I think is that she banked on him for a future. And I, she's obviously not trying to give that up yet. She's all about her man, her man, her man. Um, I guess whenever we finally see Erica Hughley, we can kind of reconcile. Sis, you, you're, you're, you is that you? <laughs> um, let's see what else you guys are saying. Well, he's got to have an address to go somewhere. They're not going to release him. Well, I guess they if he's like, sir, you're free to go. And now if he's out on bond, then they have to have an address. But if they end up dropping stuff and they're like, sir, here's your paper bag, you're free to go. He might be on the streets. Now, if he... If he's free to go, I guess he could go to Florida. Um, if he's on an ankle monitor, then no, he won't be able to. Nesto is done for. He probably won't see the light of day. There's some silly, slow woman out here who hasn't heard about what's going on. And all he has to do is meet her over to the bar and he can move in like in about three days. Okay. All he has to do is call her enough, pay her enough attention, go and handle some business in that bedroom. And I hate to say it, ladies. I mean, look, I know it gives like second, third, fourth hand embarrassment that some women out here are like that because, you know, I guess us women consider ourselves to be a tribe. But at the end of the day, some of us out here are very weak minded and open up doors, give out keys. Um hand over titles and all kinds of stuff far too quickly. And there is no doubt in my mind that this man could have a place to sleep inside of seven days. Okay. Maybe even sooner. And any of the men in the bushes know that I'm telling the truth. It's just, it's just how it is. <laughs> okay. Stop it.
I said it. I did. Somebody out there is ready to give out some keys and scooch over in their bed. Okay? And go buy some underwear, pajamas, and buy him some new jeans and some Jordans. Get him get him back fresh and take him right to the uh, to the barbershop. You said this show is better than TV. My this this one? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Oh, it's, you know, it's, I'm tired. So I'm just, I'm like, look, I can't even clean it up at this moment. I'm just going to tell you guys how I really feel. That's, that's, you know, and it might be Shirley, you know, Shirley, Shirley is, um, Shirley going to take her husband back. She's going to take her husband back. Shirley, if you're in the bushes, sis, we waiting for you to clear your name. But look, look at Nesta walking out. No, that's Chris Brown. But anyway. <laughs> Okay, let's see if you guys have any more questions for me. And I'm going to let y'all go because I know you guys are not caught up on the playlist. If you're new here and you just got into this topic, let me drop for you the playlist. Put the playlist in reverse and go ahead and everything will make sense, okay? Then check the description boxes because oftentimes or in the chat, I'm dropping you the links to anything and everything that I'm talking about. So check that and um, get into the playlist. I'm sure there's something in the playlist that you have not watched or you've been putting it off. Go ahead, get into it, get caught up. And um, wait, just one second, let me refresh this. Okay. I was trying to pin it. Let me see if I can do that. If you haven't watched uh, the live from yesterday or the one that I did, um, earlier today on my other channel, we reacted to the video. I, I might react to the phone calls from prison video tomorrow night, not in the morning. Um, this week has just literally flown by so fast. From all of this exposure, there may be a woman putting money on his books besides Sonia. Are you, Okay. Absolutely. You guys have seen Love After. There's some, there's, first of all, you can't, we can't really quantify crazy, right? There are some people out here who are like, don't they're, they're not all together with it, right? So did, what did I say? Silly, slow, maybe even sad. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Like there's there are some people out here that Nesto is perfect for them and all he has to do is catch up with them. Um, okay, I dropped that link. Let me pin it. Okay, let me replace the pin. Okay. Um, this man is probably waiting on Shirley to pass to get her life insurance. Who knows what this man is capable of? We know what he's allegedly done. This is Shirley's chance to escape this mess. She might not want to, sis. She loves that dude. She loves him. That's her man. What, it's like, what are you talking about? Why are you being such a hater? That's what she's going to say. Shirley's going to be like, you, you're, you just don't want me to be happy. You don't want me to be happy. Okay? That's what Shirley is going to say. Um, anybody who is telling her anything other than what she wants to hear, you just don't understand what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> that's Shirley's going to be like, that's my man. That's my husband. We were profiled in essence magazine. What are you talking about? <laughs> okay. Word on the curb is she's still, she's still in the picture. Okay. Let's see what else. Okay. Fit Nana is laughing. There are a lot of people out there who will fall for a lame for the lame line, lame lines Nasty Nesto is giving. Girl, all day. All day. Everybody is so jealous. It, look, trust me. And then once he starts posting, okay, this is the this is the scene. Let's say Nesto is on an ankle bracelet. Look, did you not see? Some of you guys may not follow Sexy Red, but did you guys see when Sexy Red had uh, the boy, she was posted up a self, what well, wasn't a selfie, it was like a ussy. Her and um, some boo, once upon a time, um, 
with a ankle bracelet on. Okay. She thought that was cute. Even though she's pregnant now and they say she's pregnant with Drake's baby, but whatever. I don't know. Um, am I at, am, am I asking questions? Are we asking? Yeah. I mean, I've been waiting for, I mean, I had the call in up. I just took it down. Cause I'm like, y'all, we've been up here almost an hour. Um, so I've just I've just been uh, going through the comments and answering. Um, but if you have a question, sis, I will drop it again if you want to call in. Otherwise, we're gonna we're gonna shut this down in about five ten minutes. Um, let me see. Uh, what was it? Can we can we see who gives him money? Public records? No, his records right now, according to Cobb, have been. I don't want to, what's the right word to say? Let me see. Let me check my email. Um, I requested something from Cobb recently and they got my request. They said that they found what I was looking for and they told me that what I was requesting was part of an active and current investigation and they were unable to send me, let me see. Um, Cobb County. Uh, Cobb County received an open records request from you on October 18th. Based on your request, the Cobb County Sheriff's Department is is not... Oh, okay, the, the one thing I asked for, they were not the custodians of what I asked for. Hold on a second. Okay, Cobb County received an open records request from you on October 18th. You requested the following um, processing documents. Um, let me see. Any and all processing documents for Mr. Williams as he was processed and anything that came from Fulton County. After diligent search, our office has located the records which are responsive to your request. However, we have determined that the records requested are exempt from disclosure under Georgia law for the following reasons. The records of law enforcement, prosecution, regulatory agencies in any pending investigation or current prosecution of criminal or unlawful activities other than initial police arrest reports and initial incident reports provided. However, that an investigation or possession or prosecution shall no longer be deemed to be pending when all direct litigation involving such investigation and pro prosecution has become final. So right now, and this is from code 35-1-18. Thank you for your patience in awaiting this information. Connie, open records. <laughs> So, yeah, right now they have, I, I, you know, and I can't say it's because of it. I'm sure it's probably because of what's been going on with the phone calls, but they put the squash on that. And I'm, you've, I'm sure you've heard that from other people. Um, and I think um, phone calls from prison did request some more calls, too. And uh, they got the same response. There's nothing. Yeah. Hourglass, uh, black hourglass. That's exactly what they said. So. That was the long answer for basically, no, you got what you got. And, you know, um, girl, don't you love that channel? Atlanta Street Interviews. So good. He can't afford that in his current situation. Um, girl, somebody, somebody will. Absolutely somebody somebody in their 30s might and he might be walking around here with a brand new baby you never know look i'm not saying anybody's pregnant but i'm just saying that um you know men can have babies until the day they die um i still didn't watch really like that she's just i mean the way he basically sounded like he was getting ready to trade her in in november he he couldn't come home to me but you would love to call in can't hit the link um, you may have been hitting. So I literally just took it down. Okay. I'm going to drop it and I have 10 minutes. Um, okay, sis. Uh, who was that? Someone said that they wanted to call him. Maybe it was Erica. Okay. I will drop it for whomever, but we got to keep it really short because, um, 
girl, I, I keep remembering Saturday and I was like, I'm not going to keep y'all too long. And next thing I knew, it was almost four hours later. I was like, y'all, <laughs> that was epic. And we only, we had five callers, but you know, everyone got a good amount of time. That was good. So let's do like a quick, let's like do like a very quick, quick girl, four hours. I'm still traumatized. I enjoyed it. I I did enjoy Saturday very much, but I was just like, I've got to stick to my, <laughs> the comments were funny. It was like, oh, I'm not going to keep you long. And four hours later, <laughs> Whew. hi, a snack. What's going on, sis? Hey, real talk. Hey, how Girl, are where you? Do we where do we start? Like, I don't even know. I mean, do you find a spot? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's so <laughs> it much, is, I feel drained. It is, it's, it's the gift that keeps on giving. This mm -hmm. going to go on for like maybe three more years. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, where is Shirley now? I wonder what her head space is like. You mm. know? Like, what is she thinking? Is are you still in your um in your friend's basement or back room or whatever, eating hot pockets and Grubhub, or did you did you pick yourself up? Um, I mean, I think that's a great question. Just one second, Erica, I got you. In just give me like three minutes. Um, I think she's in an apartment because based on what we know, um, if you heard the calls like it's been some time this week but i've you know we've been listening to calls now for three months right. um he said something to dion about her apartment being laid out or you know she got her apartment it's gonna be mm -hmm. laid out um or you know it's gonna be nice or you know um she's i'm sure she's got an apartment it, i don't think she was over to the friend's house because she couldn't afford it I think she was over to the friend's house because they were just fresh off of being evicted from Bent Creek. Right. Um, maybe they were thinking about going over to Pine Grove. I don't know, but that never happened. And she had to go find someplace to live quickly because, I mean, he, you know, he got arrested on the streets. And um, mm -hmm. I think she needed someplace to go stay very quickly. And so the way that I've been hearing him speak to Sonya, like on the later calls, I think that he he's picking up that Shirley's kind of acting kind of standoffish a little bit. Mm -hmm. And he probably knows that he's blowing it with her. Like the lawyer ain't lawyering. They, she's not really paying the lawyers like that. She really don't know what's going on. So it's almost like he's talking to Sonya like he's grooming her on these last few calls like oh yeah the know, ones we listened to the other day like he was trying to give her pep talk and all of yeah. that stuff yeah like get yourself together because you next in line we got 30 Pretty years much. Together. yeah but exactly you got 30 years behind bars I ain't got... <laughs> Shirley okay. is gonna go on Shirley's Shirley is not getting tricked out of her spot Shirley is there they just gave Shirley a million dollars a year you think Shirley weren't about a nesto now but do you think Ernesto's trying to go anywhere? If they're they're really married, um, you know, according to word on the street, do you think he's going anywhere too quick? He, he I think he's gonna try to keep in contact and like test her, do a temperature check. You know, see how how she's talking, how she's feeling. Will she give him give him the address so he can write her? Um, is she still <laughs> saying that he can come live with her when he get out? <laughs> or, are you going to ghost me or <laughs> how your day going? How you feeling? Is your knees hurting? You know, he really going to be asking. <laughs> <laughs> what a, what a punk. Just be a man and straight up, babe. When I come out, is the door open or not? Is my key up under the, is my key up under the mat? Right. What's going on? Are you waiting? Are you still waiting on me? What's going on? When, uh, when, when Dre come pick me up, can he brought me off at your house or Tasha house? What house I'm going to? Like right. he needs some answers, but he's he got Sylvia. I mean, not he, not Sylvia, Lord have mercy. He got Sonya in that just in case point. Yeah, because if things don't work out on one side, he got somewhere to go on the other side. Well, remember you guys voted like a week or so ago, and I was asking you what what's going to happen when Nesto gets out. Do you guys remember? I probably say he and... ain't getting out, but. 
<laughs> no, I said, well, when he gets out, he's, you know, right. he'll get out eventually. Um, mm -hmm. But it was one of those, um, I think, have Sonia will be a across town like a good side chick, something like that. I've got to pull it up. Um, tell us, did, give us whatever um, you want to leave the audience with. Or do you have any, one more question? Because I got Erica uh, holding on to get her to right. give us her right, statement. Her point. Got mm -hmm. you. So, um Y'all, we just got to keep watching because this is literally all over the place. It really <laughs> is. <laughs> and, and real talk, check your IG more often because there are things that things, okay? There are yeah. things that definitely things. Oh, okay. Well, I do, I do check it more often, but I've been, I mean, this topic has had me so busy. Normally, mm -hmm. I've been on my, in my dms much better but i don't know this past week i've just i've really slacked off but i will yeah. i definitely will i definitely okay. will be checking throughout the day okay well y'all are doing such a good job keep up the good work and i'm oh still thank you all right i'm going back to the chat hi Erica. okay <laughs> take care all right bye-bye oh okay uh, erica is that you yeah hello Hey, how are hi, you? Hi, hi, hi. How are you? <laughs> I'm doing amazing. How are you? Okay, I'm great. I'm so happy to be here. Thank you for having me. I'm going to get going. I'm going to get going. I'm totally enthralled. Thank you for what you do and all the rest of the girls. And Aww. I'm, you know, I'm not going to name them because we all know who's who and what's what. My question to you is, this is totally awesome. My question to you is, how do you feel about like okay okay say if, if it were if it were you right how would you feel if you know that your friend been talking about you now I know pillow talk mm. I get I get pillow talk I get pillow talk but uh, how do you feel about like your friend talking about you and I have a follow up question but how you feel about that though? I cannot how, believe I, you asked me that question why I not why not. You know, because today, it was either today or yesterday, I wrote, I said, if I could show you this list, and anyone who's been around here for a long time, you, like, I, I will write a list in a minute. I had Shirley. Me too. Oh, friends my God. List. I'm a note taker. Go ahead. I'm sorry. I I'm excited. Sorry. And the friends list had Panay, mm. Ty, Ty with Danielle Diamonds, because she mm -hmm. talked trash about her. She's All the her biggest friends. gossip in mm -hmm. Atlanta. Go ahead. Go um, ahead. Jeannie. Uh, mm -hmm, she mm -hmm. let Nesto talk about her, say she yep. was phony. <laughs> um, she talked shit about Sheridan. Ooh. Sheridan's basically not really, you know, Ooh. she's not there for her. She's Ooh. she's done, mm. you know, mm -hmm. she just wants me for rent. Mm -mm. Um, she sits there and kikis about Gary all mm. the time. Mm -mm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. she doesn't really talk much about Tasha and Ronald, but other than like she does want to kind of get out their hair. But there was um, a conversation. She was, she was talking about them. Go ahead. Yeah, the conversation <laughs> that she had about them bickering this and arguing amazing. right before they went to the Bahamas. Mm -mm. Um, mm -mm. And mm -mm. then she... Mm -mm. And then Monica. Mm -mm. You know... I'm over it. The ops Monica who okay. Steve Harvey outed. So what do I think mm -mm. about that? Yes. Um, if her friends are listening, which some may, some may not. Um, mm. Vicky, I see you backstage. Um, I would feel some type of way. Mm -hmm. but also, what? Just would you take her back was, as a friend, though? It just depends on mm -hmm. what she. So what she Panay, <laughs> Panay, that probably <laughs> needs to be done because it doesn't seem like they're like. It seems like she turns. You know, I don't know how her and Panay got to be friends, but Panay mm. obviously was doing her hair. Mm. They got to be friends. Mm. Maybe they weren't really friends. I don't mm. know. Did like she introduce her to Miss Steele? That's what they say, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so she Panay's said she ain't messy. friends with her no more. She said that. I heard it. Go ahead. Yeah, Panay's I messy. Oh. <laughs> Shirley okay. and her messy friends. Yeah. Oh. Okay, yeah. so okay, I'm gonna get off. I'm gonna get off. We're real. We're, 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 now, if I was Marjorie, now, <clears throat> if I was Marjorie, she surely can never come to my home again. And I don't, well, I don't care what people friends. say. She was a worker. Like, oh, I mean, uh, you ain't look, coming over, hon. You're well, not. Look at it this way: say your husband has a. Team, then you talked right? about my husband, child. You, you ain't coming over here ever again, on hon. That. Because we weren't friends. If you, nah. if my husband's 
um, associates came over from the job, mm-hmm. even though they've been working together 20 years, mm-hmm. that's his work mm-hmm. folk. Mm-hmm. Now, I might lay out the hors d'oeuvres and mm-hmm. if it's a couple of party you know, type okay. thing, Christmas party. But if it's like, it seemed like Steve was having kind of like a work offsite for the week. Everybody came over to the house for a couple mm-hmm. of days to come through. Mm-hmm. I'm going to go visit. I'm, me and mm-hmm. Lori are going to Paris. We'll, mm-hmm. we'll see. We'll, you going to meet us in Italy? Okay, mm-hmm. we'll see you after you finish up with, with your work. Because mm-hmm. it's work. He's mm-hmm. working. Mm-hmm. So when she says she treats us like the help, I feel mm-hmm. like Shirley misunderstood the relationship. The mm-hmm. mm-hmm. relationship is with Steve, who is mm-hmm. the boss. Mm-hmm. Okay, um, um, real talk, bougie. I'm I'm so glad to be here. I love your content. So let me say this right here. I used to listen to the strawberry letter every day in the shower. I had a shower radio. It worked in the shower. All right. Did it every day. All right. There was a time where I was thinking like, do Shirley like Steve? I, I felt, felt that I felt too. she had a crush on the him. Dynamic. Yeah, I think that was part of the dynamic. I don't know if that was baked in, like if that was kind of a skit or if it was no if that was what it was. Women, we don't. Mm-mm. I was like, girl, do you like him? Maybe she thought she had a shot in between Mary oh. and Marjorie. Oh, yeah. yeah. I felt it. I was listening daily like, girl, do you like Steve? <laughs> I was listening like do you like Steve okay so back to I was if I was Marjorie child you will not come over my house ever never and you talking about my husband so and you talk you, nah nah so I just want to ask how do you feel about her relationships with others and how this is going to project or how it's going to affect her fruit um I, I don't know I lost you um how do I feel about her relationship? Uh, Vicky, hold on just a second. Um, I think that her relationship with other people, other women, um, I think that Shirley is definitely a all or nothing. And I think she's okay with letting everyone go. If you're not with the program with her, you're not part of the, you know, the praise and hallelujah and supportive, then you're a hater. And that's, you know what I mean? That's just how she feels. Um, Vicky, what do you have to say, sis? Can you hear me okay? Uh-huh. Welcome. Well, hi, Hart. Thank you. Thank mm-hmm. you for having me up here. Um, I lost my completely lost my train of thought. But as far as far as like with her last uh comment about the conversation about her relationships with her people, um, it it's it's so funny because I I was you know, at first when I was hearing this, I was feeling sorry for her that I've been going through like emotional like ups and downs about my feelings about Shirley with Shirley. Because mm-hmm. at first I was like, oh, this poor woman, she got completely, you know, blindsided by this man who, who, you know, he probably gave her some good loving and, you know, she probably ain't had that in a while. He scratched the itch way back there that she hasn't had scratched. And I felt, you know, I felt bad for it. Then I hear it more and I hear what she says about her daughter. I'm like, you know what? She ain't no good. She's just as bad as him. She's just not a scammer. And then I'm thinking, I'm, the more I hear the more I, I'm thinking, I'm like, she's, she knows something. She knows a little bit more than what she's letting on. And when he, when he lets out these little tidbits, cause he's stupid. He doesn't know how to just shut up when he says, um, I would never, uh, you know, I, basically in so many words saying, I'll take the fall for it. I never mess up your name. Mm-hmm. She know <clears throat> she knows more. And when he's I mean, he's been married 19. I mean, excuse me. He's been well married four times, but he's been arrested 19 times. He was in jail three times for her to say you've been in jail three times. And for us to find out he's been arrested 19 times in his lifetime. That's a lot. It's a lot. She she knows a lot more <laughs> than what she's letting on. Um, so but, and then I, go but ahead, think go. of it this way. Even though she knows these calls are recorded, it's not like they're talking on the phone and they're saying, hey, guys, and hey, hey, everybody in the back. I know. Like, she, you know what I mean? Of course, she she knows. I, I don't think she's playing com- completely stupid. I think they are trying to be, like, quiet on the phone. They're trying to be conservative as far as talking too much. But I think... When people are saying she knows more, well, of course she knows more, but she's not going to 
just think about if you're on the phone with someone you know, you don't go back 10 years. You don't right. even go back the last week because you two know each other. So when you're like, girl, so-and-so did this, that, and the third, we don't have to preface what so-and-so just did because you two know so-and-so. The person who's eavesdropping may not know so-and-so or the person who's privy to the call. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I think the assumption is she's trying to keep something from everybody, but it's not a conversation with her and him and us. It's a conversation with just them. So the fact that it seems like she's covering something up, it's almost like when I say to you guys, guys, if you want the backstory of what we're talking about right now, you got to go back in the playlist because I can't, I can't repeat three months worth of two hour live streams. You know what I mean? So she, I think the assumption is how did Shirley get caught up in this? How could she be with this guy? Maybe she didn't know. Maybe he's tricked her. Shirley, like, it's almost like, you know, Yandy and Mandisi. You think Yandy doesn't know that Mandisi was sent to jail for what he was sent to jail for? That he was, he was, he was into the shits on the streets of New York. It's the Carmela Soprano thing. It's like, okay, I know what you're doing, but I don't want to know too much. I think some people see this woman right here on the screen and they think she's too good for what she's got going on. Because she plays the Jesus route. Well, whatever she's playing, people are buying it. Yeah. I don't buy it because I don't, buy it. I, I don't, I don't buy it at all. It doesn't make her a bad person. It doesn't make me not like Shirley. Shirley is with who she's with. Because that's what she wanted. Now, does she know that he was cheating on her? Does she know all that stuff? Maybe, maybe not. We don't know. But as far as the criminal, the the criminality of this gentleman, this man, she knows all about it. I think where the tides turn for me is when, um, I, I don't know which channel it was that replayed it. And they replayed it over a couple times. And I had to go back and I had to go find the phone call is when, when he found out that Sheridan went down and gave a statement and he and it was it was on it was like two separate phone calls when they discussed this and he says our little folks so he's talking obviously talking about the kids Mm -hmm. he's like and he's he's saying she ain't got nothing to do with that well what's that what are you talking about you're not just blatantly stating i have no clue what they're talking about i would never you know i would never do anything sheridan like he's not just outright like denying it he's leaving this inference of well all i can do is infer that he like hey there's something there and shirley knows it Mm -hmm. like and it it makes me and i'm now i can only build a conclusion in my head it's like no sheridan's not gonna mind if you just use her name really quick how how long is the lease gonna be for six months no i'll just pay her rent yeah or or just he knew he could finesse her and he just, you know, beg for forgiveness later. You know what I mean? Like, instead of asking for permission, just apologize. Or dick her down. Absolutely. And that's, and that to me, I mean, I've been, I've been goofy like that too. I'm, I'm 40 now, but like, in, you know, in my twenties, you know, I've, I've been goofy like that and done some mm-hmm. stupid, th- stupid things for like, guys. Be flexible with, with your word, you know? Or mm-hmm. flexible with like my your money. boundaries. With my boundaries. With yeah. My money, with my emotions. Yeah. You know, you, you oh you cheated on me. You didn't give her any money, did you? Okay, I'll take you back. And it's like you know you 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 will, you know you kind of mix the, you intermingle those things. And I think I my biggest issue with her is just with the daughter. It's like you didn't you didn't really have a large part in the rearing of your child. So there's some tension there, probably a lot of tension. And the daughter, and the daughter may have a right to feel. She may have gotten everything in the world. She may have gotten all the gifts in the world, but that doesn't make up for time and love, and the no. you know, and hugs and kisses and you know being there for Christmas and being there for your first dance recital. It doesn't make up for any of that. And of course, she, as you get older, you have to get over it. And so surely, you know, she's she's given her financial assistance, and maybe that's her way. That's that's the only way she knows how to attach to her child. So she's trying to make, she tries to make up for it with the grandkids. And now the daughter's <clears throat> kind of wrangling in that relationship and, and having the reins on that relationship. And so she's bitter about that. And I think Shirley's a scorpion. 
Um, what sign is she? She's a she's a Leo. A right? Leo. Mm -hmm. So she has that that kind of that that ferocious nature where she you know she can she can bite back, and I think that um, she knows what hurts her daughter. And right now it's the daughter's keeping the it has why I, I did see a picture from earlier this year because I, I got I got bored and I went through her Instagram. And um, I saw pictures from, I think it was earlier this year, maybe in April, if I'm not mistaken, um, with that she took a picture of the grandkids. Now, could, this could have been an old picture. Mm -hmm. um, but I think the daughter is wrangling in. As more information comes out, she's wrangling in what, you know, what her kids can see. And she's probably, you know, even though she's got, you know, these kids and she's unmarried or whatever, or however you want to judge her, that's not, that's not my business. Um, she's you know, she's holding, she's got, she's got to raise her kids the right way and she's there for her kids. And so I, I think Shirley, uh, I think my biggest issue is the way that she's handled her daughter, the way I've heard her speak about her daughter. And even now, um, you just, she didn't apologize to her when she did that, that goofy little strawberry letter where Steve Harvey took over. She didn't apologize to her daughter. No. Nothing. I mean, the the strawberry letter, the apology to Steve, there wasn't anything about oh, I mean, gosh, I, I mean, there were a lot of things that were missing from that. You know, um, she said her husband was in jail for doing some, her, you know, horrific things. And she was sorry to Steve for what she said. She well, said she divorce proceedings, which were like, OK, Um you were gonna say she shouldn't have been what? She shouldn't have been. I mean, she didn't say anything bad about Steve. That could have just been like, oh, "I was just worried about you." You were hopping and puffing. It wasn't that big of a deal. Steve used that to throw her up under the bus and put all the attention squarely on her, um, and to basically address the bloggers. He wanted an opportunity to address the bloggers, right. which she did, and um, and then throw her under the bus and then get the get everything off Margie Marjorie and that's that's what he did. It was it was silly. It it wasn't worth anything um because Shirley's still going through it. But I think she still so let me so on October 10th, was it the 10th? Let me see. It was maybe it was October 12th. I'll have to reforward it to you guys um cuz it's still open. You guys can still vote if you hadn't voted on it. Um I said if Ernesto got out of jail tomorrow and I'm just, whenever you read this, when if Ernesto got out of jail tomorrow, would surely let him come home? Keep in mind the real strawberry letter to the court, affidavit, to the court, the affidavit signed uh, 62623. Um, she said he could come home. The poll so far has 1,243 people who have voted. 81% of you say yes. 81%, 1,200 people have voted since October 12th. Um, are there any comments on here? Oh, yeah, there's comments. I'll forward it so you guys can uh, relook at it. Any of you guys who did not vote on it, um, please feel free to do so. I had another one uh, with Sonia in there, too. Um, and we will we'll talk about it again. But, yeah, 1,200, over 1,200 of you have voted, and 81% of you said yes. Um think about that you think think about like your 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 hardest love your your the person you i don't blame her i mean i don't blame her I, I, it took me like the person who who drove me crazy it took me like 10 years to get over him look if shirley has made it i've 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 been married almost 10 years now in march i'll be married 10 years it's a long time plus we've known each other for a long time prior but I don't know that she knew him like that for that long, but she's still been with the man for about 10 years. Right. Um, she's in. Like yeah. she, she, in. we may not think she knows him because we hear the conversations um, and it don't, they don't sound deep, but she like, you don't tell me anything. And well, I tell you more than you tell me and you don't tell me anything. And now all of this little bickering that they do sometimes, um, at the end of the day, she's bought into this guy being a certain type of husband. And had he not gone to jail, they would still be riding around in the Bentleys. You know what yeah. I mean? 
had this not had he not gotten arrested when he did what would have been going on the same thing that was going on last week and the week before she was happy she was happy and everything was fine she's um the what the young lady was talking about um i, I forgot who was just before me <clears throat> with her she would give i i honestly think she would give up all of her relationships just to ensure that she was happy and she had a life big and ernesto seemed he was like he's like a, a little her personal assistant you know he's her handler he's a he's not i wouldn't say a publicist girl but, he's her client yeah, i mean she's has, she's his client yeah she's everything and he probably had erica doing all the paperwork for her you know like doing all the just think of and what i i know that we heard the erica's charges uh for the when she impersonated the attorney to try to get him out of out of jail um but I have yet, I don't, maybe I missed it and I'm just blind and I'm, I'm silly. I have yet to hear them come up with all of the, the complete charges, the, you know, the charging, see a charging instrument for her. Uh, besides the, besides the impersonation of, you know, mm -hmm. of, of somebody. So oh, I'm, you can just go to Fulton County Jail Lookup and plug in her name and just. Which name though? Erica Hughley. It is under Hughley. Well, it's Erica. You can put in Hughley. You can put in King, and it will show up. I've showed it before. It's go if you go in the playlist, go under okay. Erica Hughley, and you'll see. You can see what is there now. Obviously, it's dated because it. Like let's say I did that a month ago, um, but you can you know do the same search, um, and you'll see how I. I don't remember at this moment like which one I had to do. Um, but it's easy to find. It's either Hughley, H-U-G-H-L-E-Y, or King. Mm. Um, but it, it comes up under her what aliases. A, why I really came up here is to kind of talk about Erica, though. Because Ernesto, he's bad, and, it, like, all of his stuff is, uh, you know, the the, the, chat, the CP and all that stuff. And um, it, it's disgusting. It's horrible. Um, and I'm, I I'm, wouldn't be surprised, you know, and there's, you know, the charges that he may have done stuff with his, his actual daughters because he doesn't talk to his daughters because they, you know, the, obviously the, the investigators have gone to California and talked to his kids. Um, but I want to know the full extent of Erica's crimes because that, that, that Charleston White thing, um, I think uh, Sylvia said that she hadn't, infamous Sylvia said she hadn't seen anything come up yet, but Charleston White said it himself that uh, he, you know, he put Shirley's name out there that uh, Miss Mann was allegedly uh, impersonating his wife and trying and getting loans and deeds and documents and he had to have his wife sign over, he had to sign his house over to his wife to ensure that they didn't steal his house. I heard that. Um, as far as Erica Hughley um, or Erica King uh, impersonating Shirley, that wouldn't surprise me. No, impersonating Charleston White's wife. Oh, okay. Impersonating anyone. She's impersonated a lawyer. Um, they have they used Sheridan's name. That's that's the game that they play. That's part of their game. Now I they, wouldn't be surprised. They they take identity. You know what I mean? It's been alleged that they take identities. I'm I'm almost thinking that they're that they're married in some way. Who? Uh, uh, Ernest, Ernest and uh, Erica. I wouldn't be surprised if they're married because if they go back twenty years, now they have a bond that seems to be. Well, unbreakable. why can't they just? Why can't she just be a loyal mistress, side chick, worker, helping hand? Because you know they they want to move on to bigger and better things. The pro the biggest problem. And I said this in the comments, and then I'll end, I'll end my, you know so you can go to bed is i think that they were doing they were small time and they didn't have that they didn't have as many contacts and, and as much credibility and as soon as he got that that boost up by being shirley strawberry's husband and the connection to steve harvey and steve harvey's you know the what is a family feud guy and so he's got he's got the you know the the thing out there, and he's been on Steve Harvey's show. He proposed to her on Steve Harvey's show, and it's it looks so beautiful. And she's found love late in life. And this, you know, the younger guy meets, you know, what is it, May December relationship? He got that boost up, so he got he got the credibility. So he just went on. People were just buying into it, and I think he just got greedy. And I don't see what the end game was. What was the end game? That most people have an end game. 
when it comes to scamming. You want to, okay, I want to get $2 million and I'm out the game. Or I want to get, you know, a, you know, a couple hundred thousand dollars and I'm out the game. He's just... He's just being sloppy and loose with his stuff, and it's like, dude, what, 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 your, what was your end game? So I just, I honestly think that he was cool as long as he was doing a small time hustle, you know, taking a car here and there, and as long as he kept sleeping with these women, they weren't gonna say anything to him, you know, mm-hmm. letting them letting them ride the ambulance and whatnot, and you know that <laughs> that would be that was gonna be okay, and he came and gave him some loving, that was that was fine, but. As soon as he just started, you know, ripping and robbing every every single person that he met, that's when it became too much. And then the women just, you know, they said, okay, enough is enough. And I think that's what it would have really boiled down. He got too greedy and it was too fast and it was too many hustles at one time. And then with Erica, run, they were running simultaneous scams, but I don't think they were in, in constant communication with everything. I don't know that there was a, um, I think they're still trying to figure out what the enterprise was. Um, apparently there was some running of cars. Um, he had his own situation with the women and the cash scheme. He, they clearly had other people involved. The fact that Danielle diamonds picked up the phone, Ty, and picked up the phone to call Shirley to tell her that somebody called for a receipt. Then the police called for a receipt. And then she's over there talking about to Shirley, if this is in fact true, because we know that there are some unreliable narrators. Um, We don't know if Shirley told the truth on that or not, but she was telling Ernesto that she didn't say anything, that these two calls came to her. She didn't say anything. She just listened and knowing that you're on a recorded line, but you want to call and tell the person who's sitting doing the time that you just got a call from two people implicating, you know, basically questioning the purchasing of your ring. You, the police already talked to you about it, but you call him up or you take his call on a recorded police line to tell him <laughs> that you just got some more phone calls about the ring. And he's like, what? Why would they say that? Well, cause they said you bought it with the illegal money, honey. Blah, 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 you know, Sure. See, she, she's not Shirley a criminal. Is, she's not. She's not. A, she may not be a. Well, great it may be. I'm not taking the heat for this, sir. I'm not but, taking the heat. She's. You, you told she may not be ago. a criminal, but she married one, and she knew it, and she turned a blind eye, and she's dealing with what she's dealing with. Nobody feels sorry for Shirley. I like Shirley. I'm. Uh, she's. She's a nice looking. Well, she. All these. All the check marks of all. She's she's a nice person. She's all the things. She's fabulous at 69. Da, 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 but she's silly and and this was a dumb move. You never should have been with this guy. This is what you get when you Girl. deal with a man like this. This is the type of man that you chose to marry and you chose to stay with him after one incarceration, after two incarceration, after three. Now he's in for a whole entire year. And you writing affidavits and showing up to court, sis. Begging the court to release. I'm just gonna him. watch, and we are gonna talk about it. You know what I'm saying? Like that's where I'm at. I, this, I, okay, this is my last thing. If I was her, <laughs> if I was her, I would be Blanche Devereaux in it. I would be such a hoe, well, especially with that money. <laughs> and I got access to bags and clothes and hairdressers and what and and TV and whatnot. They will call me. They will. They they girl. They would talk about me so bad. Like yeah. Sure did. Mm-hmm. Took, down, took down two of them last night. I'd have me a Puerto Rican. Or just be get... or just be having a good time. I mean, she it may not be in her to want to do that. And that's fine. But the fact that she's Nesto sounded a little salty the other day when he was talking to Sonia when she was saying oh, she was going out with the girls and they were having a good time. Um, like he, you know, he says he likes her to be happy and be at home. But then she's out with her so-called friends. Nesto no, is those are just words Nesto's ridiculous. He, those are just words to him. He 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 has to be the center of attention. If you're not sitting because he's in there and he wants you to do the time with him. Like, why aren't you? you right. You know, yeah. But she you, did. No, she doesn't have to. She's grown. No. That woman is 54 years old. And, and if it's the one that uh, Sylvia pointed out, she's a good looking woman. 
You know, she's a little tiny, petite, good looking woman. Oh, and I'm talking about Shirley too. Shirley was out with her so called friends, right? She's still a good looking woman too for at, at right. 70 years well, old. But that's irregardless. She could look like a whole bucket. At the end of the day, he's in jail. She's not. She can go out for drinks with her friends. Why do they have to be so called friends? Yeah, you know what he, I mean? Like she can go out and have a good time, I enjoy her when, life. I hate when I hear those calls when he says, Oh, you must have been asleep, or what you know, or what you was, you know, like, why you ain't answering my call? Ain't nobody answering my calls now. Or like when I, I don't know if you heard the calls from earlier today, the new ones she just mm -hmm. released mm -hmm. when Dion Dion basically said, I just doing my thing. Dion sounded like he didn't want to talk either. Dion's up and down. You know what I mean? He could have just smoked something or he might just be depressed like that. Um, Dion, sometimes he's up, sometimes he's down. You know what I mean? The impression that I got is that Shirley is cutting off the purse strings or she's, you know, she's tight or zipping up the purse because she's not paying for them anymore. Because I think, I think an Ernesto was taking care of them a lot from Shirley's money too. And when he when he said that that made that comment of I just do my own thing or something about when he, when Ernesto said something about Shirley you're talking to Shirley he's like I don't know man I just do my own thing to me I I took that as code for she ain't giving me no more money and you ain't passing the money along from her you ain't telling her to give me any more money I I created my own scenario in my head allegedly mm -hmm. um because I think Shirley was Shirley they were all profiting. From mainly from Shirley. Yeah, Ernesto was scheming and scamming and probably helping everybody out. But where's the seed money coming from, too? The seed money is Shirley. She she was, was making a, a fairly decent money, a fairly decent amount of money. Mm -hmm. So it, it's just a mess. And like you said, uh, I don't think she's a I don't think she's a bad person. I just I'm my biggest prayer and wish for her because I was actually I was feeling kind of sorry for her today just hearing the calls and thinking about everything <clears throat> and i don't know if this if her contract renewal is real or not because i don't always trust sandra rose um, <laughs> she's she's something um my big my prayer for her is that she finds um some sort of reverence and grace and that she makes up with her daughter because and her daughter and her grandkids and that 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 relationship builds screw nesto um and just Get some peace with your daughter and your grandkids because that's who's going to be able to be there for you. You know, whether they, you, whether you like them, actually like them, you may love them, but whether you like them or not, that that's your family and that's your blood and that came out of you. Mm -hmm. No, so I agree. I agree, but I don't know that she's, she's not really cut from that. Her mom may have raised her daughter, but at the end of the day, her relationship with her mother was weird and she's hasn't fixed that situation to where she's hasn't she's created a whole nother situation in oh, another oh, generation oh. so they're dealing with a generational curse right now and they're not doing the work to fix it so sheridan's got a daughter and maybe the healing will happen in this generation maybe oh, but it's not i don't you know, I'm not trying to be not optimistic. I'm just being my pragmatic yeah. self. And it just doesn't seem like sis is invested in doing the soul work. Sis wants her man out of jail. She's not really, she knows Sheridan's okay. Um, Sheridan doesn't come to try to kiss her ass like she feels like she wants her to. Um, therefore, she set up a situation where she pays her rent and she feels like, rejected from Sheridan her. because yeah. Sheridan's not doing things the way she wants her to do it. So she's got a reason to now cut her off because she feels like Sheridan only wants her for money and the relationship's not that deep, but you as the adult, you as the parent, what are you doing to make it better? And if you're, and if you're, and you expect her to do all of these things, where, where did she get that? She may not have had those life lessons yet, to be able to bring that healing and you're not providing it as the mother so where's sheridan to. supposed to get it she didn't get exactly. it from the grandmother because the grandmother used to talk shit about you to your daughter <laughs> and you sent her to the woman that talked shit about you so i you know what i'm saying i'm not saying this relationship is doomed but i'm i don't you know what i mean like it you know what i mean it just kind of is and that's Shirley's cross to bear. Just like Ernesto said, you're going to take this to the grave. 
she's got a lot of mom guilt because of what she did not do and the way she set things up. No matter how much Shirley had to work, Shirley could have found a job elsewhere. And I'm not talking not in radio. She could have worked at any other radio station. She could have done radio where she didn't have to travel as much. Um, she chose to stick with that job that took her away from her kid. And she has to deal with that. If she's got regrets about, well, I had to work. Well, you didn't have to work that job. No. It, it, I mean, my my mother had me at 16. Um, she worked. She graduated high school on time. She worked three jobs. Now, her and my grandmother had a similar relationship to Shirley and her mother. But my grandmother stepped up. But my mother was there. Like, she, she did little things like save for a pass to the zoo. Um, a save for the past of the aquarium just so we could have, you know, those times when she was off work, we had that time together. Well, there was a lot of time when we didn't, that we didn't have together. But when we had, when she had a like time with us, it was, we had fun. Like we would go to the bookstore, use bookstore and go get quarter books and just sit and lay next to each other and read books. You know, you could, you find time, you find ways. You don't have to. Right. That's my point. She didn't want, she had other priorities. Girl. Sis had other priorities. And then when her daughter was old enough and her daughter got to be a teenager, mom got a boyfriend and she got married. And then and little sis was, had two babies uh, basically back to back with two different men. Because she's longing for something. She's long, you know, grandma, right. dead, grandma's dead and mama don't really care. Mama just giving me She money. wants someone to love. She wants someone to love. She's you. We all have love in us. So she produced her two kids so she could share love with someone. And I, I personally, you know, the way Shirley was talking, I, I it sounds like she's jealous of that. She, she, and it, it sounds like there's a little bit of jealousy there, you know, not, not so much from, from Sheridan, but from, I think one of the, I forgot the, the grand grandkids name. She's but. jealous that Sheridan has an option and uh, that Sheridan is seeking out different options for her life that she didn't seek out. Sheridan's doing what she wants to do. Shirley did what she felt like she had to do, but it was still what she wanted to do. And she's, you know, she's reaping the, uh, you know, the good or the bad from it. She wanted Nesto and that's what she got. Well, she could, she could have them. And I, you know, <laughs> I, I, I wish her the best and thank you for your time. And I know it's, it's 1030 where you're at. So, mm -hmm. so, I'll let you get, get to bed. Okay. Thank you for having me up here. You have a good evening. Absolutely. Take care. Have a good night. You too. Bye-bye. Okay. All right, guys. I'm going to cut this uh, short. This was so much fun. We'll probably get back together either tomorrow or Saturday. But, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and cut this um, a little bit short. We went a little bit longer than I had mine, but... Um, I'm going to wish y'all a good night. I hope that you guys hit the like button for me. I so appreciate it. And I will see you guys out here somewhere on one of my two channels tomorrow. If you're not caught up on everything in the playlist, go ahead and get caught up for me. Hit the like button. Share this live if you enjoyed it. Someone else who wants to know what's going on in uh, Miss, Miss Shirley Strawberry's world or uh, what's going on with this Ernesto case. We are definitely on it. We'll keep you, uh, definitely keep you caught up on the tea, on the case, on what's going on, all these issues, all of these great topics that we can talk about. So you guys have a wonderful evening. You guys are awesome. Thank you everyone for coming through. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe because the chats are subscriber only. That way, next time you come through, you can go ahead and just jump right on in and I will see you next time. Okay. You guys take care. Have a good night.